I'm looking into the problem. I turned down that job. We should put off the meeting. In this video, I'm going to teach you 10 phrasal verbs that are super common in business English. So let's kick off. To kick off means to start. All right, let's kick off then. To mention or introduce a topic in conversation or a discussion. Bring up. In the meeting, Sarah brought up the issue of staff shortages. I'd like to bring up a suggestion for improving our workflow. You have to promise not to bring up your mother, though. Kind of. Five or six things <laughs> to bring up. Why must you always bring up this question of marriage? Cancel something that was planned, like a meeting or an event. Call off. We had to call off the conference due to low registration numbers. The CEO decided to call off the product launch until next quarter. First, I want you to call off the surveillance. You want me to call off the ceremony for that? And for that, you want to call off the wedding? Continue doing something, especially after an interruption. Carry on. Let's carry on with the presentation after the break. Even though the budget was cut, the team carried on with the project. Okay, this was fun. Carry on. Come on. How can anyone expect me to carry on under these conditions? Hey, we're trying to carry on with our game. Understand something or find a solution after thinking about it. Figure out. We need to figure out why sales dropped last quarter. After reviewing the data, I finally figured out what went wrong. What did you figure out? I know it's none of my business, but I was just trying to figure out why someone like you is divorced. I'm just here to figure out which one I want. Review or examine something carefully, usually in detail. Go over. Let's go over the financial report before the meeting tomorrow. The manager asked us to go over the proposal one more time before submitting it. That's, that's not right. Let me go over it again, all right? Don't go over it again, please. I would like to go over the details. Investigate or research something. Look into. We're looking into potential partnerships with overseas suppliers. I'll look into the issue and get back to you with more details. You know, look into the two psycho and stranger cases. Please don't do anything until I have had a chance to look into it myself. I will look into this complaint. Delay or postpone something until a later time. Put off. We can't keep putting off this decision. It has to be made today. Due to unforeseen circumstances, they had to put off the launch until next month. I told you I put off grad school. We've already put off having the IVF. Anything to put off actually running the country. Arrange, organize, or start something like a meeting or a business. Set up. I'll set up a meeting with the client to discuss the contract. She's planning to set up her own consulting firm next year. If you're done with the DVD player, can you set up my printer? I need you to coordinate with Lewis and set up a numbered account. When do you think we could set up a meeting? Assume control or responsibility for something, especially from somebody else. Take over. John will take over as project manager when Susan leaves. Our company is planning to take over a smaller competitor. The mere sight of him would only encourage an enemy to take over the whole country. Take over for me. I'll be right back. You should go home. We'll take over. We're good. Reject or decline something, like an offer or a request. Turn down. The candidate turned down the job offer because the salary was too low. 
Unfortunately, the board turned down our proposal for additional funding. You'd have to be crazy to turn down all that money. You just couldn't turn down a favor. Learn to protect your face a little better. I wouldn't have to turn down this money. Well done. Bravo. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And let me know, out of these 10 phrasal verbs, how many did you already know? Actually, 11 phrasal verbs, because I also said kick off at the start. Remember, kick off to start and to finish. What's the phrasal verb? To finish is wrap up. On that note, let's wrap up this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.